Number 8. Jacqueline Kent Cook 29-year-old Jacqueline Kent Cook was arrested for verbally and physically assaulting a stranger at a high-end restaurant in Manhattan on New Year's Eve 2017. The millionaire socialite daughter of former Washington Redskins owner Jack Kent Cook was reportedly on her way out of Carvaggio on the Upper East Side when she made an anti-Semitic remark towards another patron, described as an older woman. Cook was then confronted by the woman's son, 52-year-old Matthew Habercorn, whom she proceeded to strike over the head with her sharp-edged glass purse, the handbag, reported as having been a Lulu Guinness mirrored perspex clutch, inflicted a nasty gash on Habercorn's scalp, which caused blood to drip along the side of his face and stain his collared shirt. In the incident's aftermath, Cook claimed to have been acting in self-defense when she attacked the man, who she accused of chasing her down the street and breaking her finger after she'd insulted his mother. However, in October of 2018, the socialite pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and instead of taking her case to trial, was ordered to serve three days of community service. Number 7. Rebecca Grossman On September the 29th of 2020, socialite Rebecca Grossman was responsible for a high-speed traffic accident in Westlake Village, California, which claimed the lives of two young brothers. During a preliminary court hearing on the matter, investigators detailed how the woman, then in her late 50s, had been traveling at speeds of up to 81 miles per hour in the moments leading up to the fateful crash. Grossman ultimately blazed through an unmarked crosswalk and struck the two victims, who were crossing the street with their parents at the time. One of the boys was killed instantly while the other passed away later at the hospital. In a conversation with a Mercedes-Benz operator following the collision, Grossman indicated that she didn't know if she had hit anything, but that her airbag had exploded suddenly while she was driving down the road. In the wake of the tragic incident, the socialite was charged with two felony counts, each of murder and vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, as well as one felony count of hit-and-run driving resulting in death. Grossman, a co-founder of the Grossman Byrne Foundation, was initially scheduled to stand trial in May of 2022. However, her legal team subsequently filed a motion to have her aforementioned murder charges dismissed. In September of 2022, Superior Court Judge Joseph Brandolino denied that motion, ensuring a murder trial for Grossman, who would face a maximum sentence of 34 years to life in federal prison. Number 6. Tinsley Mortimer Television personality and socialite Tinsley Mortimer was taken into police custody on April the 9th of 2016 after allegedly trespassing on her ex-boyfriend's property in Palm Beach, Florida. The 40-year-old woman who rose to prominence following appearances on the reality TV series High Society and The Real Housewives of New York City had, prior to her arrest, requested a civil standby because she wanted to retrieve her belongings from inside the residence. Local authorities responded by informing Mortimer that she was, in fact, trespassing on private property after a previous trespass warning in October of the previous year. The socialite became enraged with the 911 dispatcher and reportedly screamed into her phone before disconnecting the call, at which point officers were sent to the scene. Upon their arrival, they found Mortimer in a state of hysteria, howling about how her purse was inside her former partner's house. The ex-boyfriend, identified as Alex Van Jewel, denied that he had any of Mortimer's belongings, and the police then placed her under arrest. A few months later, the woman struck a deal with prosecutors to have her trespassing charges dismissed. In exchange, Mortimer agreed to cease all communication with Van Jewel, as well as stay away from his and his parents' homes. Number 5. Jasmine Harting The estranged wife of the son of Britain's Lord Michael Ashcroft was arrested in May of 2021 after she fatally shot a police superintendent following an evening of drinking. It was reported that Jasmine Hartin initially told investigators that the victim, Henry Jemot, was a friend and that he'd been hit by a gunshot fired from a boat passing by the San Pedro Pier on which they were standing. However, after a jailhouse visit from her lawyer, Hartin's account of the events changed. She admitted that Jamot had been showing her how to load and unload a gun 
when she inadvertently fired the fatal round at him herself. The woman was charged with manslaughter by negligence before being released on bond, pending the commencement of her trial. The following year, Hartin made international headlines once again after it emerged that she'd allegedly put out a hit on Belize's police commissioner as well as a local magistrate. The socialite vehemently denied these accusations and expressed her personal belief that she was being set up by corrupt government officials. As of recent updates, a trial date hadn't yet been set. If convicted of her charges, Hartin faced the possibility of spending up to five years behind bars. Number 4. Jocelyn Wildenstein New York socialite Jocelyn Wildenstein was accused of launching a vicious attack on her boyfriend at her Trump World Tower apartment in the early hours of December the 7th of 2016. The 71-year-old previously gained international notoriety for her extensive cosmetic modifications and facial plastic surgery, which earned her the derisive nickname Catwoman due to her supposedly cat-like appearance. According to the resulting police report, Wildenstein used her fingernails to claw at 49-year-old Lloyd Klein's face. She then allegedly took a pair of scissors to the man's chest, causing several red marks and substantial pain. Klein, a designer, managed to escape by stuffing the woman inside a closet. Wildenstein later accused him of forcefully pushing her when he returned to the apartment to collect his belongings. In the initial aftermath, the socialite and her boyfriend were both ordered to refrain from making any form of contact with one another. However, the criminal charges stemming from the domestic episode were later dropped at the couple's behest. In November of the following year, Wildenstein and Klein were involved in yet another domestic violence incident at the former's apartment. A reportedly trivial argument had sparked between the two, culminating in a physical altercation that resulted in both of their arrests on charges of misdemeanor assault. Number 3. Sipapa Ugandan socialite Charles Olimu, known under the alias Sipapa, was placed on the police's most wanted list after allegedly taking part in a home invasion on the night of August the 28th of 2022. According to local authorities, 33-year-old Sipapa, along with a group of yet unidentified accomplices, broke into the Kawuku Bunga home of a South Sudanese national named James Arok. State prosecutors claimed that the intruders used chloroform rags to sedate the house's occupants before stealing $429,000 in cash, a television set, mobile phones, and an Apple laptop. Sipapa and his girlfriend, designer Nakayemba, went on the run in the incident's immediate aftermath. On September the 6th, of 2022, it was reported that the pair had been remanded into custody on charges of aggravated robbery, a capital offense that is only triable by the High Court of Uganda. Today's topic was requested by Charlotte Stowell. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Hadley Palmer Connecticut socialite Hadley Palmer was accused of secretly filming people in her multi-million dollar Greenwich mansion for her own twisted, voyeuristic pleasure. Court documents reveal that the woman then in her 50s had between 2017 and 2018 knowingly photographed, filmed and recorded certain individuals without their knowledge or consent and under circumstances where those individuals were not in plain view and had a reasonable expectation of privacy. It was mentioned how one such instance of voyeurism involved a minor, although the specific details of Palmer's misdeeds were largely left out of public reports. The Greenwich Police Department's investigation into the salacious socialite also led to the arrest of Dr. Jerome F. Broadley. The latter was reported as a child psychologist who faced charges of failure to report abuse, neglect or injury of a child in connection to the case. Palmer, the daughter of wealthy hedge fund founder Gerald Fine, ultimately agreed to a plea deal that reduced her initially severe charges to three counts of voyeurism and risk of injury to a minor. She consequently served 90 days at the York Correctional Institution pending her actual sentencing date, which was reportedly scheduled for August of 2022. 
Number 1. Farouk Abdul Haq. In the early morning hours of March the 14th of 2008, Norwegian university student Martin Vik Magnusson left a nightclub in London's wealthy Mayfair district. The 23-year-old was reportedly accompanied by Farouk Abdul Haq, a fellow student at Regent's Business School and the son of one of Yemen's richest men, Shahir Abdul Haq. The pair got into a cab together, marking the final time Magnusson was ever seen alive. Hours later, Abdul Haq got on a plane to Cairo, where it is believed he boarded a private jet bound for Yemen's capital city. On March the 15th, after Magnuson never returned home from her night out, her friends reported her missing to local authorities. Then the following day, the young woman's body was found in the basement of an apartment block hidden under rubble in a block of flats on Great Portland Street. An autopsy determined that she'd been assaulted and fatally strangled. Magnuson's socialite companion immediately became the focus of Metropolitan Police's homicide investigation. After it emerged that Abdul Haq had fled to his home country in the aftermath of the murder, UK authorities issued a formal request for his extradition to the Yemeni government. As of the latest updates on the case, the suspect was still at large, believed to have been holed up in Yemen since the crime occurred. However, in March of 2022, the police arrested an unnamed woman on charges of assisting an offender, which was labeled a significant development in the effort to bring Magnuson's killer or killers to justice. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be stuck in an elevator with a ditzy, hysterical socialite for five hours or have to listen to Screamo while you try to fall asleep for three days straight? Let us know in the comments section below.